my book is Am I Normal Yet? And it's uh, the first in a trilogy about a group of girls who start a feminist grassroots campaign group. And Am I Normal Yet? is about a girl called Evie who has OCD and she's just started college and she just doesn't want anybody to know she has OCD and she's not scared to tell her friends. Um, and it's kind of examining the link between mental health and feminism. It just feels incredible to be shortlisted for the YA Book Prize. I am such a fan of all the other authors on the list so it just feels just totally amazing to be up on stage with them because um, I think all their books are great. My book is called The Art of Being Normal and it's about two teenagers, um, David who's 14 and struggling with his gender identity and Leo who's 15 and is the new kid at school who wants to be invisible and their lives kind of get thrown together and this unlikely friendship forms between them. It feels really amazing to be shortlisted for the YA Book Prize. First of all because I get to come to Hay again, I, got, I came last year and loved it and so it's lovely to be back and also it's just an amazing shortlist, like 10 really different, brave, interesting books so I'm just delighted to be on that shortlist. Um, it's my debut novel it's called The Sin Eater's Daughter and it is a retelling of the Rapunzel fairy tale. It's absolutely amazing to be shortlisted for the way but it's a privilege and an honour to be here. I'm very excited. My book is about identity, family secrets, it's a love story. It's about three women Katie, who's 17, her mother Caroline and her grandmother Mary, and the summer that the family secrets get uncovered. I guess having a book where one of the central characters is an 80-year-old woman, um, I'm really pleased she's got shortlisted. <laughs> Called The Curious Tale of the Lady Caribou, and it's historical, but I think the thing about historical fiction is that it's sort of like dystopia, only it really happened. It's about race and class and gender and lying. It's fantastic to be shortlisted for this prize. It's amazing. Um, the books that are on the list are all incredible and um, I just feel really, really amazed, shocked, delighted. It's wonderful. My book is called Concentrate um, and it's a book set in a kind of alternate reality London in which a new drug called Concentrate has come on the market and uh, there's a slightly crazed Etonian mop-haired blonde mayor who's been dishing out this drug called Concentrate to misbehaving youngsters. I was so pleased to be uh, on the shortlist for the YA Book Prize. It's such a brilliant advertisement for YA as a genre. It shows that YA fiction is, seems to me that it's really at the cutting edge of your fiction at the moment. My book one is the story of two conjoined twins, Dippy and Grace, um, and about their lives really and how spectacular they are in their ordinariness. I've been at Hay before to do events but to be here as sort of a shortlisted author is so exciting and especially because the shortlist is so phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. It's a, a Victorian Gothic murder mystery but with extra paleontology, post-mortem photography, feminism, blasting powder and a tree that eats lies. I am very excited to be shortlisted for the YA Book Prize at the Hay Festival. Uh, for one thing, have you seen that shortlist? Frankly, if it was any stronger, you could send it to Fight Godzilla.